All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to burn a tree stump with a 55 gallon uh, barrel. The easiest way I found to do it. Um, but I like to use charcoal, easiest. I don't have to look for limbs. Burns nice and hot, burns for a long time and gets the job done. So here's one tree stump. Big pine tree, probably as thick as this one here. This is probably after a day. Burns out quickly. Here is a steel drum. Let's hollow it out. Put this right over the tree stump or on top of the tree stump. And this is the one I'm going to be burning right here. What I did was put cross hatches with my chainsaw and uh, put some weed killer in it. This has been about two weeks. And then I'll usually pour some some kind of oil or some diesel or kerosene, whatever you have laying around. I wouldn't use gas, it just evaporates too quickly. Uh, kerosene has a higher flash point, I believe, so it's gonna burn a little hotter. But once you put the charcoal in, set it, forget it. All right, so this is the chimney that I use, a charcoal chimney. This thing is great, especially for grills. Never need lighter fluid ever again. And I'll show you guys how to use that in a second. Charcoal chimney. Starter chimney, I guess it's called. But put the charcoal in here. Put paper in here. Give it about five, ten minutes. Have a big flame. These are cowboy tongs. Use these to move the charcoal around inside uh, the barrel. Or once inside my sheet metal duct that I use to... Uh, burn smaller tree stumps pour charcoal right in here and a few hours later the stump is gone this is from i think this is a 10 or 12 inch from an, from an hvac system you get these at the big box stores this works great because it really isolates the heat keeps it really hot in there uh, tree stump burns a lot quicker charcoal lighter and on this side here i like using three full pieces of newspaper Crumble them up, put them inside. Like I said, you can use this for grilling the charcoal, much better than starter fluid. Make sure briquettes nice and hot. All right, all you gotta do is flip it over. I usually put this on a piece of concrete block or anything that's non flammable. All right, after you flip it over, pour the charcoal inside. What I like to do is Light a couple spots. All right. It's going to produce produce a, a ton of smoke. So you may want to step back for a while. Like I said, put this on a, a non-flammable surface, concrete block, as we like to use. Give us about five, 10 minutes, you'll see some flames. And when you see a nice hot fire in there, then you're ready to pour it out. All right, see the flames inside the starter? Tons of smoke. When you see the flames start to pop out here, you're ready right, to so go. It's been about five minutes, and this is the Weber chimney starter for coal. You don't need to use starter fluid anymore if you get one of these. I bought them at, I bought a couple, I think from Walmart. But what you can do is set this actually in the grill itself. And if you look at the flames, that's when you know it's ready. I don't know if you can see it. It's nice and hot. If you're just grilling, you push directly into the grill and you're ready to go. All right, so here is my sheet metal tube for the to into the tube and let it burn for right, a while. I've Pour the charcoal in from the chimney starter into the um, sheet metal HVAC tube. It's about 10 or 12 inches. As you can see, it's getting really hot in there. What I'll do now, throw my steel drum on top of this, keep the heat in, and let it burn. 
and this is again what it'll look like after a day. When I'm working with a bigger surface area, I've removed my HVAC, my HVAC uh, tube. As you can see, it's burning. What I'll do now is in a few minutes, let that get nice and hot. I will pour some additional coal on it, and that's it. After a day, this stump should be burned down underneath the uh, surface level. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes, and this tree stump is gonna be burned out probably in the next four or five hours. It's really hot. Charcoal doing a great job. That's all there is to it. All right, guys, I also forgot to mention, I always have three five gallon buckets of water just in case. And if I can get my fire hose out to where it is, or my hose to put out the fire, I also have that. I always have a bunch of water around just in case you need to put it out.